I recently did a video where we took a look at using the light box in Pro Show Producer. It's exactly the same in Pro Show Gold. Now, a visitor to my website left a comment underneath the video and he said that he thought he'd read somewhere that if you bring your cursor over the thumbnail, a larger preview pops up and you can actually see how that thumbnail's looking. Uh, and he's tried it and no, it doesn't work. Well, no, it doesn't actually happen, but there are ways around it that you can actually create and produce the preview. I'll come back to that in just a little while because the question made me think about the way we set up both Pro Show Gold and Pro Show Producer. So I thought we'd go back to basics, take a look. This is the default layout. Now, if I just come up to the top, now on the top line here, you have got your menu bar coming down a little bit further. Now with this, this is going to be your toolbar. You see, get nice little prompts when you bring your cursor over it. Dropping down to this one here, we've got our info bar and it's given us the name of our slideshow. And you can see I haven't actually given it a name. In fact, if I hold my cursor over there, you'll see the location I've not yet saved. The length is 19 slides. I've just randomly put some slides in and a piece of music just to give us a bit of an idea. Just come over to this site and this is the really important part here. You can see you've got 19 slides. There's the timing that's going to be on screen for, along with the audio track, and there is the length with the audio track. Really useful, sort of having this information up here. Dropping down a little bit further, we have got our folder list showing here. Coming down underneath that, we have got our file list. Then coming down, we got our slide list along with our timeline, and you can see the music down on the bottom part here. Now, if we come up, we've got our preview over on this section, and then coming down, we have got this process status panel, which looks a little bit hidden, but basically click on something, apply it, and you get a rather nice green line that shoots across. In other words, it's your progress bar. Right, so taking a look, you may have noticed as you bring your cursor up, you get like a double arrow. Clicking down, you can move things around, so you can begin to reposition things. Now don't forget, what we actually did in the light box is we clicked down, we dragged it out onto the work surface. Now sometimes you may inadvertently sort of click down and you may move things around and it may go sort of into, well that's went back to where it started, but you may do something like this and you may think, oops, or whatever words you want to use, entirely up to you. Now if you do something like this, don't panic, just go back to window. Just come down to default window layout. We'll start off with this one and there it is. We're back where we started. It just resets everything back to the default, but we can fully customize this look. Right, taking a look at this, coming over to the folder list, we're gonna click down, we can drag this out. Now as I drag it out, you can see the dotted lines and we can do the same sort of thing that we actually did with the light box. In other words, if I release it now, it's going to float on the work surface. We can make it larger we can take a look. You may find this handy if you've got a picture in mind, if you've got a background in mind, if you've got a piece of music in mind. You can just scroll through and take a look through your folders there and it just gives you a, a bigger, clearer view. Talking of that, you can customize the look as well that you've got in Pro Show Gold and Pro Show Producer. For example, clicking on this, if I bring it to the side, we've got that flashing line, that's going to put it back where it started off. But if I just hold it and bring it down I think what I need to do actually is release it. Let's bring it out again, drag it down, and I'm trying to get it, there it is, into this position. So we've got a vertical sort of dotted line, releasing it, in it goes. Now this could be extremely useful. In fact, I'm gonna move this across into that area there. I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna click into this area. I'm gonna move that across. Now we've got our folder list, so we can come through. We can go right the way through our folder list. We've then got our file list, which we can see clearly and easily. And we've then got our preview panel over this side with all the information. Like the layout? Why not save it? You can go to Window, dropping down to Save Window Layout. Now clicking on Save Window Layout, it actually gives you a snapshot so you can see exactly what you've got there. And it will even give you a name. Now you can rename it as well if you want to. One thing I will point out, it's got the optimal size here. Don't pay any attention to my optimal sizes because for recording a video, I use 1280 by 720. And that's why the optimal size there may be completely different to yours. So don't pay any attention to that. Click Save. And there it is, you have now saved this workspace, but there is so much more you can do. And everything happens under the window menu, just dropping down, taking a look at the top here. Now we've got build, we've got design, and we've got publish. 
over on the right hand side you'll see the shortcuts for accessing these you've got alt f1 alt f2 for design and alt f3 for publish dropping down a little bit further you've got switch workspace control tab so let's try that if i use control and tab it's going to take me from build to design you've now got the preview over the other side you've got the slide inspector over here with all the various bits and pieces still got the preview uh, sorry the slide list down on the bottom now don't forget it's control tab to take us to the publish there it is there and this is where we've got all the various publishing options you've got your blu-rays your dvds your vimeos your smug mugs your youtubes your executables etc etc are all listed along with your projects down in this panel here Right, so control tab was the shortcut to take us back to the original. Right, now just taking it a bit further again. If we come to window, if we drop down to show, now this is where you can show the various options. For example, we got the folder list, we got the file list. Now we've seen those two, it's these two over here. Now if I come and I uncheck the folder list, watch what happens. It disappears and you get a larger view then for your file list. We can come back to window, we can come back to show, and you can come through. Check these if you don't want them. If you don't, for example, I don't use the toolbar. Now I can actually switch that off, give me a larger area to work with again. And this is where you can start to customize the workspace for how you want it to work to best suit your needs. Right, so once you've done this, don't forget, you can come down to Save Window Layout. Now it's going to come through, it's going to save it as number three. So somewhere along the line, I must already have a number two. Right, so clicking on Save, and there it is. So that's now Save This Workspace. Okay, let's go back to Window. Let's drop down to uh, Show again, and you can see you've got a whole load of various bits and pieces here. Just take a look, experiment with them, because you can be safe in the knowledge that you have actually saved your workspaces. Now the View Options, now with this you've actually got uh, various bits and pieces. Just take a look and you can see the way things are looking here. For example, with the folders, if you've got your file list up, let's go back and uh, go to Show. Let's bring back my folders. If we come back and we got our view options, let's go to folders. You'll notice I got arrows and knobs. If I just switch this off, you can see the way it changes. We've now just got the arrows showing there. So you can come in, you can fine tune it to however you want it to look. Right, coming through a little bit further. Let's just drop down to, we've got load window layouts because those very nice people from Photodex have actually given us some workspaces to work with. So let's take a look at these. If we click on it, there it is there. There is ProShow Layout 1. It's showing us with the folder list. There it is there with the file list and as we've got it set up, just click and apply so we can take a look. There, just as we would have done with the default, moving things across, looking pretty good like that too. Come in and we're going to drop down to, once again, we're going to go to Load window layouts so there's layout number one we've got layout number two okay you could be right-handed you could be left-handed or just happen to prefer on the other side so there it is entirely up to you we got layout number three now layout number three has given us the folder list along with the file list and then coming down we've now got two rows where we got the slide list down the bottom here you could find that useful again it's back to what I was saying about the resolution that you're working with and I couldn't do it with this because it would be rather crammed just using 720 for the height right dropping down to this one now this one is where we're going to answer the question about the light box because if we click on Pro Show 4 you can see there it is there I'm going to click apply as well now here is the light box we can see we've got the here we got all the uh, slides listed we can grab hold of this we can move it over now when I click down you can see a larger version of the image I am clicking on so that's the answer to the question no you can't bring your cursor over you can't click down and it doesn't pop up but yes you do get a larger preview which will be situated over on this side or if you want it on the other side you can equally you can just bring it over in fact you can place it there you can place it wherever you want to don't forget you can customize both ProShow Gold and ProShow Producer to exactly how you want it to look 
we can still come in here, we can still move slides around just as we could in the light box by just clicking on them and dragging them. You'll notice the music track down there as well. We can come in, we can change the sort of the on-screen time, the transition, the transition time, etc. all in the light box. Once you've done that, you can go back to Window. If we just drop down to Load Window Layout, now with Load win Window Layout we got as far as number 4. You've also got number 5 which is now showing you the Slide Info Panel as well on the right hand side. You've got Layout number 6 which is showing you the Preview along with the, uh, the Slide Info Panel on the right hand side again. And if I just come down, there it is. There's one I've saved just showing there's no files with that one. In fact I think, yeah, there it is put no file list in there as part of the title. There's number one, that's the one we just saved, the first one we saved. Coming down, there's number two. I had thought I had <laughs> number two there. And you can see there's no toolbar at the top there and just coming through, I'm going to be exactly the same with this one. The light box, there's one I saved with the light box. Just using it, you can see I've got the row coming across here with the slide list in the light box. Again, clicking on it, you get a larger preview. You can make this as big or as small as you want, entirely up to you, and you can position it anywhere. So there it is. Just don't be afraid to come in and to customize both ProShow Gold, ProShow Producer to how you want it to look, to create a comfortable working environment for you to sort of produce your slideshows in. I'm just going to come back to this. I'm going to go to uh, that one there and click apply. There it is. Go on, give it a try. Until the next time, it's happy imaging and take care.